Hi, welcome to Easy Cook. I'm Ali, and this is the Clean Easy Easy Cook chef, Nigel Smith. So why do you enjoy cooking with the Clean Easy products? Well, to me, Easy Cook makes life easy. It's using a great product, and if you can do that, then you can create great food from it. Okay, so what's the menu for today, chef? Today, the menu we've got is a little ham hock terrine, which we could have as a starter. We're going to do traditional roast chicken, how to roast the chicken properly so it doesn't stick. We're going to do some roasted vegetables with a dressing, proper roast potatoes, and you can't have Sunday lunch, whatever it is, whether it's lamb or beef, without cauliflower cheese and the perfect gravy. And then I thought we'd finish with healthy fresh fruit. On with the starter, ham hock terrine, really simple dish this is. Chopped gherkin in, you've got some capers in, you've got some chopped parsley in, a little bit of salt, not too much because obviously ham can be a little bit salty. In that goes and then just mix it together and with it we've got some coarse grain mustard, in that goes. And then some of the stock that the ham's cooked in, just spoon a little bit of that stock in. As a binding agent. Absolutely. And then that goes and you mix it. So the flavours of the gherkin, the mustard, all evolve. We're going to put it into a round cutter and press it, leave it in the fridge, and we'll come back to that a little bit later Sounds on. Sounds fabulous. I'm going to do the roast chicken. I've rested it on some root vegetables. So in here I've got some carrots, some onion, celery. At the back here you've got the skin. And what I've done is I've lifted the skin up and packed it with butter. So really juicy. Lots fla of flavour in there. Flavour going in. You can put into that some herbs if you want, some basil, things like that. The cavity, I've got a lemon here, so take the lemon out. This is the storage container, used half, it yeah. will keep How perfect. often do you have half a lemon, you make some gin and tonics, so you just pop that straight inside gin and there and it goes... I'm coming to yours for gin and tonics. <laughs> the lemon, just literally, again, place it in and it holds the cavity up as it cooks. We're then going to add to that, I've got some fresh orange. What happens is the bag takes all the moisture out, so it keeps everything fresh. Great for oranges, lemons, herbs. All these fresh products create a gas, don't they, called ethylene. So it helps to preserve the food stuff for longer. If you're going on holiday, you know you buy herbs on, in like pots and sometimes they go brown and oxidised. Uh, what you do is put the, your herbs in oh, the bag over it and stops it all happening. Great tip there, I really like that idea. I've got my rosemary here, look how fresh that is. Yeah. You know, put your rosemary in and so you're packing flavour into the chicken. Okay. Rosemary, I've got some fresh thyme, thyme in that. And what happens? Chicken and thyme, such chicken a great and thyme. Mixture. Yeah, you know, great. you can add some uh, a little bit of garlic in if you want. Mm -hmm. And what happens is, as the chicken then roasts, all the orange and the lemon and the thyme infused through the meat, but keeping it moist. But I think when you get this tin, already it has a little trivet that sits in the bottom, hasn't it? That you can sit the. It does. On. So if you don't want to do it with the vegetable idea, just sit it directly onto the trivet. The other thing with the oval is it comes with a lid, mm -hmm. and what I did is when I placed it into the oven put the lid on it so it oh, keeps okay. it moist. So it's kind of self-basting. In it. Yes. Lift the lid off just to get that caramelisation so the skin's a little bit golden and crispy as it cooks. So that's the chicken. That can go uh, into the oven. That would be great, Ali. Okay, thank some, you. Uh, vegetables using the peeler. Show me yeah. how you do that. I, well, I like to use it the other way around as a Y peeler. So if you just squeeze the end there with your thumb, you can twist it round. It's like a, it's on a, a swivel. And for me, that's a far more comfortable way. Now, obviously, if you were left-handed, you could turn it round to, to suit yourself. But these, these are an absolute joy to use. They're very, very sharp as well, which is fabulous. Literally, just cut it up into chunky pieces. I'm adding to that some fresh thyme. So just pick some time over it. We've got our dressing maker, okay. and this is superb. So the recipes are actually on the side, which is fabulous. You can say all down the side. But what I've done is I put my mustard in, my vinegar in. Uh, I've added some sugar to it, a little bit of salt, pepper, olive oil. Give that a mix, like so, and then we're just going to pour that over. Wow. Okay? So it's this vinaigrette, sharp, sugary bite caramelisation. So again, they go into the oven. Here I've got our stuffing, and this is just some sausage meat mixed up, and uh, what I've done, I've added some uh, soft onions, just fried some onions very softly, a little bit of um, apple, some um, thyme, a little bit of garlic. Mix that together. Have you ever seen these? 
Do you know what these are? Um, no. Or is that... Oh, no, I'll tell you later on, actually. I might oh. show you what I'll do with those. OK. Now, my stuffing, all I've got here is Clean Easy Kitchen foil, mm -hmm. the greaseproof paper. Take your stuffing. On that goes. If I give you that, can you just get rid of those peelings yes, in the yeah. storage box while I roll this up? This is a great thing. You know how the counter always gets chaotic with rubbish and everything? If you have your, your bin tidy on the counter the whole time, really what I should have done is just, actually, I could have just peeled these straight into the counter bin. Great product. This is the stuffing alley. What I've done is I've lined it, just rolled it in the paper a little bit just to give it a bit of shape. And you just roll that up now into the paper. You do two pieces of foil and pull that tight, like so. Nice. Roll it like a Christmas cracker. So you get a perfect sausage. Perfect shape. sausage. And the thing with this is you can do them as big as you want. So that's that's the stuffing. Okay. Absolutely great. I'm going to show you how to make the perfect roast potato. Take the top of the potato. Push my presentation cutter, th my rings through, and you end up then with this beautiful circular. Ah, I see what you mean. Very restaurant style. What you do with that is you take the uh, non-stick tray, mm -hmm. potato onto it. We take a little bit of butter on top, some salt, sprinkle, and then some thyme. And what I like with it is my garlic. Yes. Now, this is my little thing. Ah, right, okay. Now, so, this is what this is. So, clove of garlic in yeah. and push down and roll. Okay. okay. Then, what happens is take that out and my garlic is peeled. How fabulous. In goes the garlic onto the tray. How easy was that? So, you literally just you put it inside the tube. Clove in. You just rolled it quite gently, really. Not hard. And it releases that very thin paper from All it. the skin comes off very easy. Wow. Okay. Then you can do as many as you want to, six, eight, ten, whatever, onto the tray, into the oven. They'll cook for about 45 minutes because it is raw. And there's smaller presentation cutters, so you can do smaller ones if you want, bigger ones, Brilliant. whatever you want. They go into the oven, they'll cook nicely. In fact, the stuffing go on top, they'll cook together. Okay, into Thank the oven that. they go. Thank Please. you. cauliflower cheese so mm. I've got here my uh, start of my cheese sauce which is just you melt some butter you add some flour to it, milk and you form this roux white sauce and I've got my nylon whisk here it doesn't scratch the pan yeah yeah really really good with that I like lots of cheddar so I've done a bowl but I've also used our grater with our storage cheese box here ah, so more cheese in fabulous loads of cheese yeah and yeah goes. And then a little tip here is, I'm going to add to this some English mustard. Mm -hmm. So this gives it a bit of bite. Now, what I've done is, I've used the lid off my chicken. So again, keeping it easy, clean. And like we've said, we've done chicken, but you can do exactly the same with the lamb, with the beef. Yeah. I blanched the cauliflower, I've kept it whole, because yes. I want to keep it. Like the idea of keeping it whole as well, Scooped yes. Scooped out the centre here so it cooks through. Just take your sauce and just pour your sauce over the top for now. And then I'm going to flip it back to the right. sauce underneath it. Yes. Okay, and then pour my sauce over the top. Wow. Like so. The whole cauliflower is going to bake in the oven now. Okay. Just to go lovely and golden and caramel. Here, this is my gravy. We've taken the juices out of the chicken tray yes. into it. I've brought it up to the boil. I've added some flour, and then I've added some of the cauliflower water. We've got a, not a great noise happening here with this whisk, but with this one, absolute silence, not damaging the pan. No, this is the best, definitely, and that's why we've done the two differences for you to see. Fresh fruit salad, really sexy thing that I love about this is the pineapple cutter. Okay. If you can show us that. For sure. You know how it is, go to the supermarket, you think, oh, really fancy a pineapple. And then you get it home and it sits on the counter and you just think, oh, it's such a nightmare to prepare. Well, those days are over. I've just taken the top off my pineapple there. And this is the pineapple cora itself. You literally just place it over the centre of the pineapple. And then you just wind very, very simply. I mean, it may be that you don't want to use all of the pineapple. That's fine. You can stop midway if you want to. 
and just use half of it and put the rest in the fridge for later. Just cover it with a little bit of the Clean Easy Cling film. As I say, it's really simple. It makes a little noise as you Look do this. I mean, it wow. could not be more simple. So you just pull it out. And obviously, I want to keep all the juice that's in the bottom. There's a lot of juice in there. So, Nigel, if you'd be kind enough to pour that into my bowl. You see that? Please, that'd be fabulous. Look at the juice. Fresh pineapple. If we'd done this on the board, we would have lost all the juice there. There's also juice here in my little tower. You can actually just take the handle off there. You just squeeze the two ends in there. What you could do is just upend it, and then you'd end up with this fabulous pineapple spiral, which looks gorgeous. But here's a little tip from me, if I may. What I would do here, just cut my pineapple here into the chunks, into the size that I want to use. Again, I'm not losing any juice or anything at all like that. Just cut all the way down, couldn't be simpler. That's my pineapple, all done and dusted. I'm embarrassed at how you've done that. It's amazing, I'm gonna move that to one side. Thank you for that, <laughs> please step back. Now, I'm gonna take my ultimate cutter and wedge here, okay. and this is for uh, the fruit salad. Apple sits on, so it's not going anywhere. Okay. You put that on top, just slide down and cut straight through it. Wow, one so, movement. Now, it comes then with the uh, other blade, so you slide that down and cut. Now, we know kiwis are very softy. Yes. We now end up with beautiful wedges. Fantastic. Look at that, kiwi. So you can actually make almost an instant fruit salad because it's so quick, it chops it and then you're good to go. I want to add to that some fresh melon. This is our melon slicer, cutter, scooper, it does everything. Okay. What happens is you've got your me melon, you cut it all the way round, so you just turn it on its side and cut, cut, cut. Wow. Which opens it up, which is this blade, and you just right. run it round. You slide your the cutter and slicer and push down, right. like so, and again like ah, so and right. what happens is you end up then with beautiful pieces look at that brilliant, Absolutely brilliant. again melon goes in and this forms our fruit and melon's salad. another of those things that you think oh can i be bothered but with this really simple again let's look at the ham hock terrain that's been pressed beautifully with the cutter we lift the top off so you get that really great flat Flatness. finish, but it's pressed it as well, which is... And then just slide that off, and then what will happen is this will just fall away. Look at this. It just falls. The Meltingly tender, isn't it? You can see. Yeah. The dressing. And the flavours in there are going to be gorgeous. Yeah. I've got the parsley, I've got the mustard, I've got the garlic. It is absolutely... You know, the thing with garlic, when you crush garlic, it always has that smell. And... Um, I've got this, you know this little thing here? Yeah, you were going to show me what that was. This is, you run it under cold water. Right. Rub your hands with it as a soap. Yeah. And the stainless steel absorbs all the flavours. So if you're doing things like onions, garlic, fish, yeah. anything strong smell. Goes I into don't the believe soap. that can do that. Ali, watch this. Okay. A little bit of water over. It's got to be cold water. Cold water. water. Okay. And you just rub that like so. And honestly, on the side, smell. Beautiful. That's unbelievable. His no hands really do not smell of garlic at no all. No garlic. It <laughs> is the best. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got the beautiful roast chicken with the vegetables. We've got our fantastic cauliflower cheese. I've got my potatoes here that's roasted. Just pop those open. You see, very soft. Smell that, Ali. It yep. smells gorgeous. Very pop buttery. Through. And the herbs as well. You're getting lots of herbs through. This is the roasted vegetables. So Delicious. just take the tongs, look at that. Mix that through the dressing. Nice portion mm -hmm. of your vegetables there with your tongs. You know, picking meat up, fish up, really are super. And I've got the stuff in here, and I'll just undo this. It's kept its juices. Look at that. And the Clean Easy Clean Film is suitable for cooking with, which is important to say, isn't it? It is, and it keeps the moisture in. Take your stuff in, and we'll just carve. A little bit through. Look, you see, it's juicy. Oh, it's it's kept the flavour. Yeah, yeah. But we need a bit of pudding. Okay. No good without pudding. No. Nope. You can just hold that. I've yeah, got that's here. A fresh fruit salad. Fresh fruit salad. Now this is your uh, the pineapple. Look at this. The pineapple just comes off in pieces in a ring. Beautiful. This is the dressing for vinaigrette. Right. Okay. So I've added some sugar, some water, a little bit of vanilla, mm -hmm. and then what I've done is cut your passion fruit in half. And then just squeeze the seeds, the juice Delicious. into it. Just mix that up. Mm -hmm. Just pour that. And there you've got a fantastic, great fresh fruit salad. We'll hand you back now to your Easy Cook distributor. Thanks and happy cooking. Mm -hmm.